What's going on everyone? It's me, Alex the Rambler, and today we're only back on Hearts of Iron 4! I was trying to do like the Rumpelstiltskin thing from Once Upon a Time. I don't know if it worked. Why is my mic still peaking, even though I lowered the volume? I hate that Windows always does that. It always changes my mic settings, and I don't know why. Every time I seem to just reset this damn PC, everything goes wrong! Anyway, today... Uh, if you would like to, of course, comment, like, and subscribe, but uh, today I'm going to be playing as uh, France. So before I play Germany on Elite Difficulty Iron Man, uh, today I'm going to play as the French on Elite Difficulty Iron Man. Now, Germany was fairly simple. I don't see how I can lose this as France. Despite all the debuffs, I'm thinking I've got a very good chance of doing this. Feel free, Matt, if you're there, to put this... Again, to remind the viewers, you know, <laughs> when it all goes wrong, I'm sure you'll make a, a showing of it. And you'll let me know in the comments if, uh, oh, dearie me, I, I'm really, I'm really um, maybe overestimating my skills. But we start with Protected by the Maginot, we have Disjointed Government, and we have Victors of the Great War. So, uh, yeah, we've got, uh, I'm going to be doing historical Iron Man, so we're going to be role-playing this as if we are the French leading up to the second kerfuffle of all time. So, what we're going to do here, we once again go on to Elite. I have nothing to offer but blood, toil, tears, and sweat. That's pain, uh, especially the production efficiency cap. France already has a terror and research. Yeah, yeah, how can I lose this, he says. So we'll, lo we'll load in. As you can see, I'm doing Iron Man. No console business here. So please do comment, like, and subscribe. I'm going to plunge my coffee and uh, just get on with it. Why am I saying that I've got, like, the best chance to win? First, well, je n'ai pas un idiot. Just using my uh, French press, my cafetiere. Yes, but je n'ai pas un idiot. And if that doesn't mean I am not an idiot, well, viewers, clearly I am. All right, so what can we do? We've got a few years to prepare for Germany to come at us. Come at me, bro. Because I'm not even sure I have Fighter Ones researched. No, we don't. So we, uh, we'll just research that ordinarily. Then I do need to increase my production cap. And I mean, the smart thing to do would be to increase my research speed as well over the, my construction speed. We currently have an inefficient economy. We have eight factories building a pitiful amount of weaponry a day. Construction speed is actually plus 10%, so that's good. We actually have something. I'm going to have to redo my army completely if I do want to survive. I do recognise that. Something else I probably want to start getting is at least a little bit of cash. Seven a year. Seven a year. I love the production efficiency of Elite. It is not a pain in the buttocks one bit. Rhineland. We'll just issue the old diplomatic objection, but that does allow us to... We can't begin rearmament. Of course we can't. I'll have to reform the labour laws, which does increase my consumer goods. Pain! Honestly, it would be great if I could somehow send volunteers, but I don't really think... You're not able to as France, are you? At least my negative PP is not going below zero. Right? Coffee at 2pm in the morning. Are you insane, Alex? No, I just don't want to fall asleep by 6pm and also win. That too. I'm harnessing my inner Francois. Je m'appelle Alex. Comment tout appelle? I could support the Finns and we'll actually get some pee-pee. Or do I just go for the e economic stuff? I feel like getting all of this is better. I might ban the leagues. It decreases stability by 6.9% perfection so all the leagues are banned so i don't think we can have violence now we still have disjointed government but we do have oh leon bloom and the matignon agreements that do actually give me some extra pp go on leon so in order to get some um training done i'm actually just going to give these pilots air, air exercises just so we can get the smidgest bit amount it's costing my fuel reserves to do this but honestly i think at least getting some air experience is is, is of benefit to me even though it's going up so slowly Oh, I should have been reviewing foreign policy. Yes, yes, I should have uh, done that. Then I could have strengthened government. Oh boy, there are so many things you need to do on fr as, as France early on. And I am lacking. I won't lie to you. I won't tell you a lie. Spain requests aid. I cannot risk my own political stability. Unfortunately, Spain, no. 
Yeah, this was a lot easier as Germany. Uh, me thinking, oh, how can I lose? Alex, you absolute moron. Yeah, using all my fuel reserves for three air experience was um, not worth it. So let's just let's just stop doing that. And... Mm. Oh my god, we're making less than six rifles a day. This is not good. How is France so bad? Am I doing things wrong? I don't know that I am. I'm going to strengthen the government so we get that weekly stability, boy. And then I'm going to focus on uh, going ahead and getting all of the military factories that I can get, such as the national champion. Look at that. But yes, I do also need to do army reform, but I can't do this because I don't have 12% war support. I need the war support, please. If y'all would like to uh, increase world tension. There we go. There we go. A little bit more. And that pushes us over the threshold to uh, begin rearmament, which is another four military factories. Uh, I may devalue the Frank now before I go down defensive focus, but I think it may be best just to go ahead and try and get army reform. Or get rid of it, at least, because that is... Well, that's horrible, too. I need to get rid of Victors of the Great War. I would love to try and um, get the Air Force up, but I should probably try and get... I mean, this will go... Uh, I'm, uh, I am going to go for an Air Force. Green Air. Green air over northern France is all I need to hold. I probably need more than green air, but send 50 fighters. I'm going to give them I'm going to give them 25 tactical bombers so I get an extra 5% negative consumer. Yeah, that's 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 worth a few old bombers that will just get shot down. So I'll be able to get 4000 planes in this air zone nearly. This one will probably fall though, so I'm actually going to build a, a a backup. Like I'm planning on losing a bit of territory and holding a key points such as like along this river line try and make sure we kind of keep things all hunky-dory with the supply but that's going to be the plan yeah, yeah there's even a supply network that, that runs down where i'm going to be defending uh they can have czechoslovakia not going to try and stop them uh, i really just need troops there we go defensive stratagems oh man this is going to be great to get rid of this if we want the people of France to fight a war for us, it is more important than ever. We have a clear direction. Liberty, egality, vanity. I apologize for my French. It's just meant to annoy you all, just so you know. Oh, 16 military factories in 1938, though. And how many do they have? A lot more. Oh, no. This will always baffle me, why they made this a zone where you get zero supply. It makes no sense. I, I don't... <laughs> Let's see if that helps a bit, because I don't want to lose this. And I just wanted enough troops here to be able to secure it against old Mr. Hilter. All the infantry divisions are going to have armoured recon. Now, ever since I've started using that, it's been a blessing. I'm running out of time to do all the focuses that I want to do, and I need to keep trading at least a little bit. I do need, I do need, I do need like a factory of fuel, just so this actually starts rocking up, you know? Because I have no fuel. My navy will be dry docked for the uh, entire game, I, I feel. Um, so this is going to be the defense line. Because that is a forest, that is forest, that is forest. And I think our division templates, they get uh, plus 25% defense on the river. What about forest? Where are you? We get 25%. Yeah, and I think that's because of the tanks. So if we, like, remove them, I think it still might have the... But it's all the other ones it does give bonuses to. Either way, uh, this is going to be the defense of France. This is where it's going to be located. I'm trying to build a coordinated defensive army that can kind of just, just do what it needs to do and hold. Whether or not I'm able to get that defensive army is another thing. Lacking troops, they're lacking training, they're lacking everything. And is that still... Oh, come on now. I generally thought building a railway would fix it. I can't believe the Civil War's still going on in Spain. That's that's pretty, uh, not used to seeing that. you got Franco, and then you got the old anarchist commune in, uh, <laughs> Catalonia. <laughs> sure. <laughs> oh, and then you've got old Japan going at it. Not making a lot of progress. Since the No Step Back update, I've seen, like, China that seems to have been, uh, well, it seemed to be a bit stronger than it used to be. Czechoslovakia has been gobbled. Zolg has submitted to Italy. Ah, yes, let them come. So that all gets added in Savoy. Am I still constructing that supply? Bruh! I will now extend the Maginot and do army reform just before 1939. Uh, just before the war. Just before the war starts. I, my troops aren't even equipped. I I have nothing. I have nothing to. to okay, let's just not panic. I have even guaranteed France. Poland, I haven't, have I? Can I even guarantee... 
I'd really rather not. I know I'm meant to be doing this historically, but uh, I mean, I'm not going to help Poland. Technically, that is historical. This can't be good. Correct, sir. Correct. You are correct in your assumptions that this is not good. And now we'll do army reform. Ba -ba -da -ba -ba -ba. And then that's most of our debuffs gone before the war is meant to begin. So, you know, not, not, not atrocious. Not atrocious. Oh, I should have gone that and got the consumer law cost down to 75. I guess I'll go with Britain. Help, help. I want to join you. While I can, I may as well just check out my kind of tank template and see what we can do here. Because we can certainly make it pretty nice. So let's give the dozer blade uh, with extra entrenchment with those tanks. That's what I'm thinking. Additional machine guns. Then with the armor, we can uh, just keep it as cast. Track suspension to increase reliability. Let's just have the torsion bard for 75%. Actually gonna have a diesel engine here. Yeah. Oh, before below the, okay, let's have a design is too expensive. Damn you. I'll just wait till I have enough. <laughs> I, I, I'm kind of happy with this template. I don't really want to change it. I know like the four kilometer an hour thing is kind of the same speed as infantry, but you, we're just wanting our troops to hold, right? So, a few more days. The fall of Warsaw. I oh, do not like the Benelux thing going on. Okay, I think we'll just have to go to gasoline. Why can I never get things going right? This is the sort of scenario that I guess you should... Uh, uh oh. That I guess you should practice. I don't like doing that. I feel like I should know the game well enough nowadays to really hunker down, get her done, and, um, you know not brick myself over a scenario like this, but clearly that's utter horse manure. Belgium's holding more than I thought they would, you know? Uh, Denmark joins the allies, of course they do. Okay, yes. Can that mean I bypass? Yay, we saved 20 days. The game crashed. Blessing in disguise at this point. If this turns into a disaster, I'm gonna send it to Bittersteel. Gotta give that man content, right? Gotta give that man content. It's like a ecosphere. A, a, a hoi for ecosphere where we all work together to help each other grow. So, anyone wants to collab and you've got like at least 100,000 subscribers? No, I'm, just, I'm just kidding. Oh, I've given up on North Africa. I don't see the point. I mean, it's, I know it's to hold Italy back, but I just can't commit to holding that. Okay, Denmark join the Allies. We are not in the Allies. We've got an invitation. So I accept. No divisions in basic training? Well, that's because I can't afford basic divisions. Does anyone... Maybe if you can give me some freaking guns, I could join the war. But unless you give me guns, mate... Yep! Okay! Okay, okay. How are you still out of supply? Okay, now it's literally just one tile that has a problem with... Ah! I've got a little token force just to kind of bait them in for a little bit. I mean, baiting them in, let's be honest. Uh, I'm asking them just to walk in me because I, you know, look, I've got under 700,000. They're, they're still asking me to join the war, but I'm not doing it. You know, the only troops that have decided to come in, uh, one little English division, we've even got a Belgian division. Uh, Lord knows what their plan is. They desperately want me to join the war. I'm desperately telling them no. Please, I can't. If I can get some just colonial brigades out. I'm just surprised that uh, Germany hasn't manually justified on me or anything. It's quite a blessing in disguise because it's just allowing me to get a few more bits and bobs before we inevitably have to join this mess. I just need guns. Once I can get guns, then I can probably join the war. But until I get guns, it's a no, no, no. Supply here, just, it baffles me. Considering, like, we upgraded everything, it was, it was, there's no, like, points that they can't get supply now. I just am confusion. Finally up to a point where I feel comfortable with the amount of factories I'm actually building. It's taken way too long. It's absolutely taken way too long. I don't believe it. I think I am really quite screwed. Oh, let's join. We've joined like a year late, so we're at the end of the phony war now. My stability is absolutely atrocious. They are storming through my defenses actually immediately. Wow. Is our air force in the skies? It is. Is it doing anything? Already contested. And we're already losing that. Is that the one tile that we can't seem to get any supply on? Of course it is. I'd honestly be tempted to let them take it because it's such a pain to try and defend. Sure, you can send a division to me. Let's uh, fall back to a more advantageous position for us. But we've done an organized retreat back to our defensive line. You can kind of see where we have supply 
Our defense is pretty nice. This is, is that just an infantry division? Yeah, the terrain is great. And here, I mean, we've almost got a thousand defense with our um, mountaineer. So, uh, like, they're winning on the points where we're not getting supply, but I don't know, honestly. I thought I fixed it. Hold, my friends. You will go down as champion. You will go down as champions if you just hold the line. Harness your inner Captain Kirahi, if any of you are Mass Effect friend, uh, friends out there. Friends? Mass Effect fans. Hold the line. I forgot about this. Yeah, that's my bad. That's my bad. Uh, Britain is uh, doing a little bit of a counterattack down here, though, so we got that going for us, which is nice. I regret not sending anything over to North Africa. I think I may risk going to five speed, though. Because even though it says, like, we're close to losing these, um, they're not actually getting through most of, most of the time. I mean, it's pretty dice, you know, because the They really are going ham down here. Like, it's it's pretty gr grim. Oh, come on now. No, don't be French. I mean, I know you are, but we've barely cost them any tanks, though. But we have cost them a lot of artillery compared to our own casualties here. And I've built a bit of a backup line using conscripts, just in case we lose these couple of divisions. But it looks like um, our troops are kind of cycling in as they get assaulted. So yeah, like, like they pushed in on this tart. How did they have the supply? Is the supply led by Turin or something? Oh, bloody hell. Okay, more to the backup line, more to the backup line. If anything, defending these points might be better for me, for the pure fact is that I don't have to worry about supply. I know they're all equipped here. So honestly, beat me back all you want, because now you're in for a world of pain, mate, now that all my troops can actually operate properly. Now, this is where if I was smart, which I am sometimes, I will be planning a naval invasion in their rear. So, let's see how smart they are. It's not like I can follow up, but it will at least it will, uh, help with my units just getting absolutely wrecked right now oh yugoslavia joined the allies that might be a bit more respite for me let's see if this will work i, mer I very much doubt it will because this is all this is kind of like too early in the war to really achieve much for stuff like duh yeah that's kind of what i thought would happen they're going to trap us and then um so we might as well uh, sail over there right and uh, just see if we can hold and just be a pain in the ass. But anyway, they're all going to die, so... Okay, at least Germany's taken half a million casualties against us. Uh, they haven't taken that much against me. I guess it's been the Germans doing all of the pushing down here. So I'll let the casualties roll. Okay, well, this fella's going to retreat. Well, uh, these kind of hold the line for now. But I honestly thought that I would be able to hold... Is that one peck, 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 pecky, peckety, asshole tile? That stopped, really stopped everything from uh, working out. Like, even, I, I tried to fix it so much. It's really irritating. Well, anyway, let's scorch earth them. Meanwhile, up here, everything's... Uh, well, not, everything's not fine, but it's not like it's awful. Oh, yay. Good. Good boy. I'm not joining their Japanese war, though. What's that? You've built everything? Well, let's build some more. Let's get more military factories everywhere. You get a military factory. You get a military factory. Everyone gets a military factory. When we get like an overwhelming amount of cash, then I can probably start... Oh, wow. Okay. I don't think our nation is going to collapse. It's just going to be a ball ache to try and defeat the Germans at the kind of their height of their power. Oh, Mexico's joined as well. Good, 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 good. Uh, Italy still can't push down there. Why they're not doing more here, I don't know. Oh, come on, mate. Just stick a few good divisions down there and you'll be able to... Ooh. He says as he still prays to live. Now, where would be a good place? I think, like, maybe attacking over here with these divisions and then trying to do, like, a spearhead to take some stuff back. I don't know if that'll work or not. Um... <laughs> okay! Let's take that airfield. Or maybe expand the breach head a little bit. We could do that. Nice, nice, nice. It's just where they've got so many units in, like, a small area. It's very difficult to keep on keeping on, you know? Uh, but with the power of Cass, it uh, should keep getting better. So we have full aerial superiority. How much damage is the Cass doing? Could probably get more Cass. Despite the Cass advantage, it's still not enough to uh, kill some troops, unfortunately. Well, my defensive game is, is now done. It's just a case of trying to push them. But it's just an awkward scenario of, like... It's just going to take ages. This is my problem. I'm so bad at um, finishing things. I just get bored. That's the thing. Like, when you've, when you've, when you've got, like, two and a half thousand hours in the game, or however many I have, it's just I, I know what it's going to take to win now. 
and it's never something I look forward to. I don't know, I've never really enjoyed the massive slogs that you kind of have to do in order to win against a country like Germany, especially when they haven't attacked the Soviets. That shouldn't have been changed, I don't think. Like they, I, I, in, in my personal opinion, I, I do think that they should... I mean, it's just making my world easier if they do. I don't know why my caster isn't really doing any damage. It's a bit irritating when they're in range, and maybe I'll just turn it on and off again. Okay, now let's see. 50 damage. There we go. That's what we want to see. That's the way to do it. Okay, Toulon has been taken. Let's keep pushing and try and go up and around them. Is that actually an encirclement? Did we act? No, nearly there. There we go. Oh my days. We've actually done it. At last. At last let's take nice back let's not be nice no more come on beat them beat them beat them ah! you little f <laughs> if that pop-up hadn't happened i would have got that oh that's such pain all right let's all consolidate right. let's consolidate all right if you think you can go there mate if you think you can beat them germans you freaking go you go to go <sighs> where are the cats that i deployed in the region that aren't actually doing anything what, what what is going on today the cast is not doing anything i'm gonna just load the game again in case it's glitching but this is so frustrating i want to know why it isn't telling me the <laughs> stats man i'm gonna presume it's it's uh doing whatever it's doing correctly so for example could i trap some uh italian divisions down here mm. yes we can just trap 14 divisions there very poggers very cool this doesn't make any sense if there's 3,000 support planes you should be showing me, like, insane amounts of damage. But you're not. You have air support, yes. I'm so confused at how little damage the CAS is doing. It, It's baffling. Now, if I were to send my 2,000 CAS, for example, up here... No retreat. Missions are executed day and night. Let's do logistic strikes as well, then. They stuck up their whole air force in the Benelux, it seems. Now we are bombing a lot of their logistics. So... They're actually starting to take attrition, which is nice. I'm actually going to take my elite force from down here, because I think they can hold, and send them up to the north and see if we can do something. It's July 43, and nothing's really been going on, so uh, I'm going to send my divisions up here, and we're going to try and go for, like, a encirclement in the north. Tell me what it's doing. Why is my air force doing that? We have 5,000 support planes, and they're doing a thing. I just don't understand this. Maybe they are, and it's just a glitch, and it's not showing me, but, but I am baffled. I am utterly baffled that it's not giving me the numbers. I just want the numbers. Just give me the stats. Just give me the f stats, man. It tells me in other regions. Why make this so painful, game? I want to love you. What? Oh, good. Oh, well, that, that'll be the uh, death knell then. Uh, okay, I'll wait for them to uh, start diverting troops over to that front. And then I'll go ham. But I presume they're going to have to take some troops away. Okay, looks like they're already having some fun. Good lord. That's how many casualties I've inflicted. 2.7 million, 1.7 million. So that's 4 million men we've killed. Oh, wow, we actually lost quite a bit. Lost half a million. I think that's mainly on my um, offensives, though. All right. Let's see this time. Drive to Antwerp. Here we go. Oh, whoa, whoa. Fuck me, they actually moved. Okay, we might actually get an encirclement. We're going to Calais. We're stopping them. I have to actually micro my life now. Why must I micro? Oh, we actually got to this point as well. So let's just try and crush them willy-nilly. Um, we need another one in Calais because they ain't going to hold. Oh, we were so close to such a good encirclement. They still currently control Dunkirk. We will try and cut them off there. I'm very tired now. I've been recording way longer than I would usually. <laughs> just, uh, I just want victory. Ah, oh, but look. We did a reverse Dunkirk, everyone. Oh, what the f... Anyone just see those 20 divisions go pow? Pow, come on now. Germany... I've inflicted many, many casualties on, yet somehow they are still alive. Oh, not just not really. Oh, they're still alive, though. This pocket. No, 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 no. They get annihilated. Yes. Good. Let the helmets drop. But uh, yeah, s certain tiles, they're just kind of getting overrun now. And I, I do think it is because of the, the overwhelming air force. And we're like destroying their supplies as we go along. So we bomb their supplies. Then we go in for the attack. Rinse and repeat. I think once we push, start pushing into Germany, we'll really get going. The race to Berlin is on. Alrighty, let's see what they're going up against. Nothing. They're going up against nothing compared to what I... W Germany, why are you the way that you are? Oh, Turkey joined. Oh, sweet. More troops that that's going to be taken away from. 
Good. Oh, finally, the Allies did some sort of landing. I mean, it's it's over now, right? After all of that, we're not even going to get anything in the <laughs> peace deal because old Mr. Soviet here is probably take. Have I actually got? I've got eight percent of the war participation. Soviet Union just comes in with twenty-four percent. Well, at least we've gotten trapped in the Netherlands a bit. I like how it's not even my units that are doing the advancing. It's somehow the British. The British. But I did it, though. Uh, the challenge was to hold France during World War II. And, yeah, Berlin has fallen. I, I, do we even need to see the disgusting peace deal? Do you know what? No. The AI doesn't deserve to get a peace deal. I know you guys and gals may be thinking at home that you want to see the peace deal. You don't. Okay, 1944, this is the end of it. That's France. I, if anything, I would have got that back. But overall, if you want more elite playthroughs, do let me know in the comments below. I'm going to go relax now, because that was a ball ache. <laughs> but I did it! Oh, I'm very happy I didn't have to eat my words like at the start of the video. But anyway, comment, like, and subscribe, and I'll be back with more challenges soon. Do you want to see another delete disaster? Delete, delete, but up. If you want to see another Elite game, let me know with the countries in the comments. Bye. Many thanks to Maximilian Foreman, Chancellor64, Fiona, Higu, Ian, Jack Trochu, Jiggly Crotch, Kim, Eric, Logan Whaley, Onion Duck, Turquoise Zom, Valhalla Halls, Vash, Wyatt Green, and Zachariah Mosby for being ridiculous ramp supporters on Patreon. Oh my gosh. And many thanks to all the other patrons too. Cheers.